the mech wheel. The medical eligibility criteria wheel, also known as the mech wheel, is a convenient tool to help family planning providers. They can quickly look up a woman's condition to determine if a contraceptive is safe for her to use. This video will show you how to use the wheel and the app. The MEC wheel includes hormonal methods and the copper IUD. It has two moving parts, an inner wheel with the contraceptive methods and an outer wheel with reproductive and medical conditions plus other factors that may put a woman at risk. Find the contraceptive method on the inner wheel, for example, the pill in the family of combined oral contraceptives. Then rotate the wheel to the woman's condition. If it is given a three or four, she should not use the pill. A one or two indicate the method is safe to use. Some numbers have a small letter next to them. For example, using the pill is given a 3G when the woman is breastfeeding and less than six months postpartum. The three indicates the pill is not safe. Look up the letter on the back of the wheel for more information. The G indicates that the pill is safe to use if the woman is more than six weeks postpartum and she is not breastfeeding. Spend time with the MEC wheel to become familiar with the conditions that are not safe for each contraceptive method. This woman is four weeks postpartum, is breastfeeding and is healthy. She's going back to work soon, so doesn't feel comfortable relying on the breastfeeding method. She's thinking about starting the contraceptive injection. Check the MEC wheel. Find the injection, also known as DMPA, in the group of progestogen-only injectables. Then rotate the wheel to the section on postpartum and breastfeeding. There are four categories based on time since birth. She is between four and six weeks postpartum. The number three indicates that the injection is not safe for her at this time. Moving the wheel forward, you will see that the injection is safe for her after six weeks postpartum. Since she is now four weeks postpartum, the MEC wheel indicates alternative methods, which are given a one or two that are safe for her to start now. These include the progestogen only pill, the implant, and either the hormonal IUD or the copper IUD or she can return in two weeks if she wants to start the injection. This woman would like to take the pill, but her blood pressure was too high on her first visit. She is here today to have a second measurement. It is still elevated, 146 over 92. Check the MEC wheel. Find the pill, then rotate the wheel to the section on hypertension. Her blood pressure reading is in the first range. The number three indicates that the pill is not safe for her. The other methods with a one or two are safe. You can now counsel her on these alternative methods. Using our last example, let's see how the app works. Go to the eligibility tool. Find hypertension. Then elevated blood pressure levels. 146 over 92 is in the first range. Look below. Methods are numbered 1 through 4 
based on the risk of hypertension. CHC, which means combined hormonal contraceptives, includes the pill. Again, three indicates the pill is not safe for this woman. All the other methods are safe though. Click See Recommendations to learn about the alternatives. Clicking on the information icon takes you to a full description of each method. This description will help you counsel the woman on alternatives that are safe for her to use. Remember, the mech wheel is a quick and easy way to look up the safety of contraceptive methods. Find the contraceptive method on the inner wheel and the woman's medical condition on the outer wheel. A 1 or 2 mean the method is safe to use and a 3 or 4 indicate it is unsafe.